The Ghanaian Times this morning says, President Re reassigns two ministers. It comes to the photo of Brian and Champon and Mr. Henry Quarte. Uh, they've been swapped. Three political parties storm out of EC technical meeting. 20, uh, 200 uh, 20,000, I beg your pardon, mad persons on the loose, Rome streets nationwide. The Daily Guide. Mahama backs at EC boss. Two ministers reshuffled. Brian Champon, Harry Cote in the mix. Ziavi, Chief's Lord Nana Development Effort. No bail for cool makers. Ghana's aviation makes gains. Bad weather in sub region diverts flights to Kutuka International Airport. Absorb cost of childhood cancer treatment. Foundation appeals to the NHIA. Mrs. Emma Michelle, Chief Executive Officer of the Dr. Robert Michelle Memorial Foundation, is calling on uh, government to do so. President reassigns two ministers and students in China. It's not safe. To evacuate them according to the health service yesterday dr patrick kapwachi and uh, uh, the the other officials there says well when the need arises uh, when will the need arise that's a question on the minds of many canis i'll share some thoughts with you as we travel along the final newspaper 1.4 million farmers uh, 1.3 million students 367,121 teachers nia data reveals top uh, 10 occupations in Ghana. You can find the finder and get all the details in there. Ghana's leading entrepreneurship challenge, the Magdan Entrepreneurship Challenge, comes off Friday, February 21, 2020. So get ready for it. Dr. Bomia leads MPP's 2020 Manifesto Committee. And I lied that Anas, Kwekubako, are into Galamse. Echo Ewusi begs. Echo Ewusi is the man in the mix of the recorded video, the secret one involving the missing excavators, the good old Professor from Pombwating and a couple of others. He's a, he's a rich, uh, former uh, deputy, uh, it's a vice chairman in the, somewhere in the central region. Mass conservation of Ghanaians, not an option yet, says the Ministry of Health. My guest this morning, Stephen Amwa. <laughs> He is the boss at Maslock. His deputy, Fiako, recently got married to Chief Baini of the NDC, who is the deputy national organizer. Steve, welcome. Thank you. Congratulations. Why, why, why that Congra for it's me. a fact. Is it not a yes, fact? Got nothing to Congratulations. Do with me. Happy yes. Valentine's Day to you. Here's Thank chocolate you. Happy for you. Valentine's chocolate Day. from CPC. It's made in Ghana. Let me take some and give to my mother at home. Your mother, oh. too. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and Sunday, Caspar uh, can police the deputy Tell regional the communication fine. officer of the NDC in the Upper East Ridge. Caspar, there's chocolate in front of you. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Please enjoy Day. some of the chocolate. Thank you. Thank you. When, when you're leaving, oh. I'll give you cocoa dairy, wait, coconut wait, milk wait. to do. Okay, Kaspar, let him have his no, chocolate. No, I have to. Okay, seven. Table manners. She, does, she doesn't have to stretch. No, there's one in front of you. Yeah, she should have taken good? that one. But I want to pick what you are taking. Why, is this ritual or what? I He's coming for my... <laughs> yes, today is a love, a love <laughs> day. So let's show some love. Today, today, you know, what you today is Valentine's Day. Day. You know that if I might be real Valentine, look at his. Like it's that, that to share yours. <laughs> no, <laughs> mine is pink, pinkish. <laughs> anyway, welcome and thank you very much. Let's uh, let's start with your plans for Valentine. Have you any plans, guys, for Valentine, Steve? Oh, Chocolate today. Today, today I'm very very busy. Today you are very very busy. So no time for love. Oh, love is in. Even I'm sure you love. Okay. I'm sure a lot of people love today. I hear you. Okay. All right, and Casper. Uh, uh, Johnny, good morning to you. For mm. me, actually, I will not uh, be engaging anything special for the day. Uh, from mm. here, I will just call few friends, loved ones, and wish them happy Valentine's Day, and to use the day to reflect on the relationships that have built over the years. Okay. To keep those relationships, because us, we know on a day like this, mm. uh, we are using it for other shaggy reasons, but it's supposed to be a day for us to reach out to people that who ideally perhaps on a, a normal day mm. will think that all hope is lost, uh, who will think that there's no reason to be uh, uh, backing on certain things. Mm. So if today uh, is a day for us to show love and you call a brother, call a sister, mm. perhaps who is in distress okay. to uplift their spirit, I think it will be the best way to go. So that is what I'll be doing for the day. I will not be going out for any <coughs> parties okay. or engagement but just to speak to colleagues and read them well okay 
Join us with your thoughts and comments and your plans for Valentine. 020-216-6633. Two minutes, that's reshuffled. That's on page three of the uh, daily, daily Guide. It says, President Akufuado had yesterday made two changes in the security setup of the country. This was when he caused his de director of communications, Eugene Ahin, to put out a statement announcing Brian A. Chamberlain <coughs> as a minister of state at the Ministry of the Interior. Until then, he was Minister of State at the Ministry of Security or National Security. He swapped places with Henry Quarte, who until the announcement was the Deputy Minister of Interior. Mr. Quarte now becomes a Deputy Minister for the Ministry of National Security, which until then did not have a deputy. What is not clear is what informed the President's decision to effect these changes. The 1992 Constitution, however, uh, allows the President delivery to make ministerial appointments or changes without assigning Reasons. Three years into his first term, the president, who is also the commander in chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, also made changes in some aspects of the military setup on Wednesday. So, this is what we have. Stick up the concern raised by the uh, <coughs> NDC's general secretary is that Mr. Brian Achampon, for example, at a time when he was at the National Security Ministry, had, if you will, restricted power, and he's been heavily fingered in the IRS West war gone by election violence and following which he appeared before the ML short committee and the recommendations that have been made and all of that that he be reprimanded they say they have not seen any reprimandation onto him but now he's been moved to the interior ministry where he has command over the police over immigration service over uh, fire service over nadmo over everybody else so now you're giving him full power to cause more mayhem is that the case Sorry, um, good morning to um, our viewers this morning and listeners, um, especially the people of Insha so in okay. Ashanti region. And um, I wish all of Sorry. them happy Valentine, the okay. women especially. And uh, may the good Lord keep them okay. and keep the place cool and calm. Have you submitted um, your forms yet? I'm, I'm, I'm a curious friend. No, I haven't. You haven't, yes. but you have picked it. Yeah, I okay. have. Yeah. I have picked okay. it. Let us know when you submit it so that we can. Are you joining me? We can I'm kick that. No, I said let us know. I'm asking you, my friend. Yes. yes. So I said let us when know. When he joined me, he has got nothing to do with the MPP and DC. I said let us have. know when you. Definitely, I'm going to do that. Can. Yes, definitely. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it is very interesting. Um, <laughs> one thing about the NDC mm. is that I think. The, <clears throat> the spirit of the 21st century hasn't still caught up with them. Really? Because um, a lot of political parties and a lot of organizations mm. in the 21st century are introducing new paradigm shifts, new mm. ways of doing things, and appreciating the fact that the globe today mm. is actually taking a different dimension when it comes to uh, political activities. Mm. Of course, we are not there yet as a continent. However, <coughs> sorry. Sorry about that. His statement is suggesting to me that mm. when they were in power, yeah. they were mm. actually misapplying the security resources mm -hmm. and abusing that incumbency in the area of security, making mm. sure that they were using police and other security agencies. Mm -hmm. In perpetuating some of the violence and antisocial behaviors that characterized most elections, particularly by elections. Is, is that your inference? Remember Cheponi, mm -hmm. Etiwa, mm -hmm. um, those places. Talancy, is that what he means? Mm -hmm. Because what he's saying, I'm surprised that the president of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Dudanko Ekufuado, mm -hmm. has the constitutional right and mandate to making such decisions. And he made the decision. And the opposition party's administrative head mm. came out and was like, oh, this guy has now more tenacity mm. to using the police and other agencies to perpetuate violence. That's what he meant. Mm. And his, his, basis, his basis is that <clears throat> fallouts from the IRSO West war gone uh, by election, violence, the ML Short Committee, the report that was published, and the fact that the committee recommended that Brian Champon be reprimanded, and up until now, they have not seen that action. Committee. 
Yes, the, the commission, the commission's what did he report. Do? What did, right. Well, he was asked, uh, if you read the recommendations, <coughs> said he should be reprimanded. So what did he do? Well, so, and they are saying they have not seen that happen yet. So I this see. new appointment gives credence to the fact that nothing is going to be done to him, but rather he's being empowered to do more. I empowered to do what more? More mayhem. Have you seen this? I wish you could put this on mm. your screen. You see this? Where are they coming from? Oh, from Brahafo. Okay. Under under NDC. Mm. Under His Excellency John Dramani Mahama and uh, Mr. Sidu Nketia. Mm. People were battered. They were, somebody was killed. Kwame mm. Nyame. Nyame Kwame. Me he so rest in peace. If you're talking about violence, mm. no political party in government can be compared to the NDC. Really? It doesn't mean MPP is without blemish mm. in that sense. I think we have to move forward from some of these things. Other than that, the memories of the past mm -hmm. may rather deepen, I mean, <laughs> the woes, and will not rather mitigate the impact of some of these. Th that's I do Ketia have a point when he makes the... To that, me, he doesn't issue. have any point, because Brian Champon, as I know him, is somebody who will never mm. engage in anything that will affect human life. Mm. But of course, uh, I have had a chance of being in a lot of political exercises mm. during elections. And mm. sometimes we only have to pray to God mm -hmm. that these things, because if you are, look, 2000, mm. the year 2000, I was in Upper East. Right. I led MPP students there. Mm -hmm. And I was living with, just to make my case clearer, mm. for people not to think I'm lying, I was living in Abedi Payless in, in Law's house. She okay. was called Madam Khadija. Okay. She stood for Talency. Okay. If I tell you the brutalities, the torture, the beating mm. that we had from the NDC, places called Eze Benaba or Banabe, mm. Talensi, those places, shooting close range, <clears throat> cutlassing and macheting people. My brother. Were you beating? I think, oh, I was once beating, but not the different okay. place. Okay. <laughs> I was <laughs> I was beating in place. I think a place near the Black Volta. Okay. I was uh, properly beating that one. I knew I was beating. <laughs> <laughs> but what will you do? It's part of the game. So what I'm saying is that whether NDC or MPP, mm. I don't expect somebody like a Katia to okay. have made that unfortunate statement. What should he have said instead? She should have congratulated the president for making such uh, a decision mm. as, as a leader, bringing a young, dynamic, active, able, confident young man mm. who probably will bring new ideas new paradigm shift mm. in managing our security and ensuring that there's sanity, there's progress, there's upscale of performance mm. on the part of the mm. security agents and make sure that Ghanaians are protected and okay. our securities are, sh are ensured or assured. Okay. But for him to, you know, anything that you do, the one thing about NDC is that right, initiating, mm. initiating policies, strategies, ideas, implementing them, they have no idea. But what, the, does, what has the appointment of a minister got to do with policies, ideas, and ah, initiating them? It's a policy shift. Is it? Of course. The, the, the functions of the minister ah. for interior are cut out <laughs> in the constitution. Of course. But, but it takes a president who understands what he's doing okay. to sit down and make adjustments and reshuffle to ensure that <clears throat> performance in terms of his government, overall performance, is upscaled. Okay. You understand what I'm okay. saying? So it is, uh, it's a policy decision by the president. Okay, thank you. Let, let's, know, bring it, let's, bring it, let's bring it Sunday. Never Let, ever let's bring it Sunday. Let's bring it Sunday at this one, point. One mm. initiative, mm. not even one. Which of them? Sunday. Whether poor, okay. pro poor policy or economic policy, you don't see where they stand. Okay. All the time it's about propaganda. Thank you. It's about mischief, communist inferior tactics. Thank you. That's Steven. what they want to do. It's Sunday. If Stephen says you have no uh, points really for raising this and that we should look beyond some of these things. You have raised critical points about the fact that the commission's report was clear, who should be reprimanded, who should be punished, who should be compensated. Mm. And so until those things are done, you view this new appointment of Mr. Brian, the champ or the swap, as a sort of an empowerment rather than what the commission says they should do. Is that really the case? Stephen says you have no <coughs> case. I thank you so very much, uh, Johnny. Let me say <coughs> So good morning to you once again. Let me say a very good morning to our viewers, especially my people in the Upper East region. Okay. Let me say a very good morning to His oh, Excellency, so <coughs> former President John Dramani Mama, 
uh, wherever he is, I bring in greetings from the Upper East region. Mm -hmm. And to say, God willing, the people of Upper East region will support him to become the next president of this country. Mm. Uh, Johnny, before I come to the substantive issue, please uh, permit me 30 seconds of your time. There is something happening in the Upper East region that is brewing tension. Mm. I want to use this day of love to make an appeal to His Excellency President Nanado Donko Akufado. Mm. Wherever he is, I say a very good morning to him. And this issue has to do with our regional hospital. Uh, Johnny, if you may recall, mm. uh, the SOR John Dromama certification started a process to make sure that every region has an ultra modern hospital. Make your point. Yes. So we in the Upper East region, <laughs> there started an expansion process mm. to make sure that we also have an ultra modern hospital. It was supposed to be done in three phases. Phase one ended mid uh, the middle of 2017. When we were living, it was about 97, 97 98 percent. What complete. is brewing the tension? The tension is that the adjoint clinical block, the lab, the pharmacy, mm. the accident emergency center that we added, they mm -hmm. are complete. By three years on, the phase two, that is supposed to make sure that equipment are installed in this uh, facility so that we can have the best of healthcare delivery. That's not been done. And, and you hear, yes, the youth are saying that if that facility, the second phase is not executed, for us to move to a third phase, perhaps maybe nobody will campaign in the Upper East region. And the most important, the, the president, if need be, they will try and prevent him and from that country. for you is tension? Yes, because if the youth of the... What, is, what is your... The president uh, uh, from Stephen, coming to the region. Hey, allow, so allow, allow, allow me, allow me, please. This is very treasonable. We will prevent the president Stephen, from coming to Upper Stephen East. Stephen Amwa, <laughs> allow me to do my work. I know, but boss... No, allow me to do my... Maybe he's with Please, allow me to do my work. Please, allow me to do my work. Allow me to do my work. You are not the host on the show. Please! Entering a region... Oh, this one we are no, busy. but you are disrupting my program. <laughs> but the segment is scary. Allow me to do my work. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Thank you. Hey. Johnny, can, so we, <laughs> can we move on and talk about, uh, what do you call it, the, the appointment of... Uh, yes, Mr. yes, yes. I will speak to that issue. But Johnny, it's so, so important that if... Let's, let's make uh, progress. We, I think we, you have made your no, point. So the so appeal to the president is, we are pleading with him. Mm. The second phase of the Upper East Region Hospital is so, so important to us. We appreciate the ambulance that he has given to us. But healthcare delivery in the Upper East Region cannot be near complete if you do not have a state of the art health facility Let's for make us your to get point. our healthcare delivery. Thank you. To the President's appointment of Brian Achampo or reassigning him to the Minister of Interior, uh, I'm of the view that mm. this appointment is an endorsement of violence. Mm. It shows the love that Naku Fado and the MPP has for uh, things that that as a country we abhor. Mm -hmm. As you said, uh, the Commission of Enquiry uh, uh, report makes a number of recommendations. Mm -hmm. These are not recommendations of the NDC. They are recommendations of Emil Short and the other eminent persons that were on that commission. Mm -hmm. And they have made recommendations. The government has rejected about 60% of those recommendations. Mm -hmm. The president has gone ahead to appoint Brian Achampo to go and be a minister of state in another ministry. Mm -hmm. I'm sure this is the first time hearing that a minister of state is going to be in a ministry to be under a sector minister. This is not something we should endorse. So we are of the view that if a minister is pretending over a, a sector, that is still mayhem, violence. We saw the blood at Ayawaso. And a commission of inquiry, a constitutional body, recommends that it should be reprimanded. And the president decided to shelve these recommendations and goes ahead to reassign him to a sector mm. that will su virtually supervise the 2020 elections. Mm. It just, it goes to confirm the president is promoting him or putting him there to continue to do what he did at Ayawa. So, so he's going to be, he's advertising violence or he's promoting violence in this country. Stephen says when you say that you have a lack of understanding for policy, formulation, implementation, and all the issues in between. Um, I'm not speaking to what Sticker is saying. I'm asking you. Yes, and I'm saying that I am not here to respond to him. Okay. Our viewers out there saw what happened at Ayawaso. Mm. If it is anything good for this country and they wish same happens in the 2020 elections, our viewers will judge. He says what you are saying is it means it means you would have done same or you, perhaps you did same when you had power. So you used official dumb to unleash mayhem on people he and makes, that's why you're scared he makes a number of unsubstantiated allegations he talks about he being a person in 2008 and he was beaten these are all 2000 not true. 2000 mm. that he was beaten it's not true were you there why not it's my home region i come from the Brongo central okay. 
hold on. Often times, <laughs> there often times reference talency by elections. The talency by elections, we never saw state-sponsored terrorism. We never saw people from in state uh, in national security council uniform beating voters. We never saw it. What we saw at Ayawa, so it's unprecedented. It has never happened in the history of this country. And if Tika is saying, or sitting here justifying all that we saw at Ayawa, so where's we going? And he's saying that the president is putting Brian there to continue seeing in the 2020 election because he is lying that people have batted uh, people in B. Mm. I, I don't think these are things that you should have allowed. It's not the case. But the pictures are here. You just show a picture. That this happened in B. Ah, you and mean, Johnny, you are allowing it. This thing shouldn't be allowed. It never. We, we all do know that election violence does happen in this country. That people were killed we, in, we in B. We, yes. can't be, we, yeah, can't be, we can't be ostriches. Yeah. It says, in what election? What he showed me are not dead people, are people who are hurt. In, what, in which election? Hmm? In my region, the MPP, their internal violence, we lost an eminent person. The regional chairman was barefoot. I said, these are not the things we sit on national TV and justify. You don't have to justify them. Right. That is past. We are chatting a new course. And I'm saying that, and like our general secretary said, if the Senate minds, civil society group, peace mm. council, mm. Christian council, other uh, uh, bodies mm. should allow these things to continue. Okay. As the former president said, if anything happens until it happens in the 2020 elections, the electoral commission will be held responsible. Because, you see, some of these things that the president is doing, it lends credence that the election is going to fight with violence. You don't know because that. Because you are endorsing you don't know violence that. You don't by race. We don't. Uh, How does the appointment of a minister for interior, uh, a deputy minister, <laughs> a minister who is supposed to be reprimanded, if possible, taken out of uh, that office, has been reassigned to an office that will supervise the 2020 elections? Has, he has not been reprimanded. The gentleman who slapped the honorable member of parliament for Nigo Pram Pram, he's supposed to be uh, uh, punished. Mm. They said he was provoked. So, like, sticker is provoking me. <coughs> God forbid, if I raise my hand on him, it's just no, you won't, you won't do that. Am I provoking you? You and you are talking, I kept quiet. No. So, when I'm talking, you allow me to make oh, my point. That is no, yeah, I could interpret that as provoking. Okay. Provocation. But no, I'm saying that the, the things that the current <laughs> government is endorsing. <laughs> okay. It doesn't augur well for us as a country. Okay. And the president of the day should not continue to what, doing what, these things. What, so, what, we are saying that mm. the sending minds should speak to the president okay. to stop who, these things. Who are because these sending minds? The Christian Council, okay. the Peace Council, mm. uh, other uh, religious bodies, civil society group, international uh, bodies should speak to the president. Okay. That some of these appointments are an endorsement of violence and mm. should be promoting same. Because as a country, yes, we go into elections, mm. the temperatures will always be high, but we have always surmounted them and emerged victorious. Okay. But the way the electoral commission is going about things and mm. how the pres and how the president mm. is responding to them, the manner the president is responding to them, we are not <laughs> going to go into these elections mm. with a country that is united to accept the verdict of the elections. Mm. And that should not be the way to go. Okay, thank you very much. Zero two zero two one six 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 three three. That's uh, our WhatsApp line. Please join mm -hmm. us on our social platforms and share your thoughts and comments. Uh, the conversation. Uh, yeah. Um, one I minute think, is one minute. Please. Yes, but I think we should be careful. That sometimes we all play some jokes, but it looks like what the NDC guys are doing these days, mm. Ghanaians must set up. How we do you heard mean? President Mahama, former President Mahama, I mean, warmongering or whatever. You hear him that because of the EC thing, if there is whatever during elections is and you hear my brother to talk he about says that. if there's violence what the has, ec must be held responsible how, how? he says Yeezy, if you see exercising its constitutional mandate okay. there should be violence no, says 22 if, no 22 if. didn't they do anything about the register mm. we even demonstrated and some people lost their eyes under ndc they have and the mpp they have demonstrated peacefully and now he is going further to say that, you know what president mahama and mm. the ndc should understand that mm. as part of the reason mm. that we've sent uh, ambulance to every constituency is to ensure that mm. people will be taken care of. Okay. If they misbehave, mm. any police station, the law will catch up with them. Okay. Thank you very that much. Page 16 of the Daily Graphic uh, says, it's not safe. 
to evacuate them, health services uh, regarding because students have, in have China. Have in and the acting director general of the Ghana Health... Can you put your microphones off for me, please? The acting director general of the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Patrick Kumabwaje, has emphasized that evacuating Ghanaian students in Wuhan, China, uh, where the COVID-19 coronavirus started, is not advisable. <laughs> He said stakeholders in Ghana and beyond had described that move as a counter as counterproductive. That he said was because China had a better capacity than Ghana in dealing with the disease in terms of prevention, management, and treatment. Providing the media with updates on the national surveillance uh, program at the media engagement in Accra yesterday, Dr. Kumabwaji said no Ghanaian had been affected or was in danger nothing that noting that the government <laughs> has monitored the situation closely and was ready to evacuate the Ghanaians without hesitation once that became necessary Sika, i'll start this one with you the health officials are saying uh it is not safe at this point and when the need arises they will be evacuated the students in china says evacuate us i'm sure you've heard the uh, side of the minority especially the ranking member of foreign affairs uh, in Parliament, Okuja Tua Blackwa MP, saying that we need to evacuate them now. In the spirit of love, what is the government going to do? Are you taking the advice of the health service or are you sticking with the, the call and the pressure from the minority and the ultimatum? Um, I think this is a very controversial issue mm. um, because if it's not well handled, whatever the consequence may be, People will try to do politics with it. Right. You know, Ghana, whether it's under NDC or under MPP. Mm -hmm. One thing we should stay clear okay. is who is making what statement. Okay. What is the person's jurisdiction or expertise okay. in terms of managing such situations and health? Mm. I think when it comes to this coronavirus mm. issue, as a country, mm. It's something foreign to us. Let's be honest. In terms of our health officers understanding and having the right antidote, okay. probably I don't know. I don't want to display my ego trips. Right. I'm not a health practitioner. Mm. But I think in terms of expertise mm. or differential expertise, Chinese authorities or health workers have more experience mm. than us more antidote or equipment mm. or whatever that in case mm. somebody contracts these virus or whatever mm. the person can be taken yeah. care of in their jurisdiction more than us he says they have better capacity than us mm. two if we, it's not in ghana yet and we don't manage it well mm. and it gets to ghana it's going to be a disaster right i'm saying therefore <laughs> that all stakeholders should come on board. Mm. Let us try to depoliticize this whole thing. And then make sure that, I would suggest, if there is clear evidence that mm. they can find out our students there do not have it yet, and they can be transported or <coughs> airlifted mm. in a way that they will not get the disease along the critical activity path, mm. and they can be sent to Ghana freely, mm then that will be an option. Okay. But let's also be very careful mm -hmm. that we don't bring one person here. Then at the end of the day, the whole thing goes mm. is it way higher or whatever. Mm. So it looks like uh, partly what the minority is saying, we should be able to analyze it carefully mm. and see whether it's possible. Mm. But if you look at the, if you look at it from the point of view of the health workers, mm. They will have to be listened more than probably minority guy who is not, if maybe it comes from uh, an aspect within the minority mm -hmm. with facts and figures and something like that, we can depend the, the students on. In, I, the I, I get you. The students in Wuhan, however, are calling and saying that, look, you sent monies for us to procure food and nose masks and what have you. The city is locked down. So the money is lying there. We have not been able to buy anything. Our food sources are depleting. We are not getting water, and we are locked down in in a room in our rooms. <coughs> for us, we want to come home we because come home. we have we have we have literally been pressed down. That's their cry. The health officials say China has better capacity to deal with that prevention and China cure. taking care of them. We should also well, we should also find that diplomatic 
uh, exercise. They, 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 yesterday at we the press to... press conference, the Dr. Kumar Baji and his team, uh, Dr. Bengdu Sakuri, they said they were in constant touch with them through the embassy, Mr. Boating and all of that, and and that they were, there was a preparation to yeah, monitoring so, them. So, so that's what I'm saying. We need to really embark on effective environmental scanning mm. exercise to make sure that the Chinese authorities mm. are really taking good care of our students there. Right. We need to, because what you are saying now is 100% true. Mm. I have a friend there who is schooling and the person is making the same statement you are making now. Right. So it's not like it's just a hearsay. Mm. If they want to come home, let's plan things well to the extent that they will come home safely without any problem. Mm. If we think they have to stay there, we need to properly psych them, mm. communicate to them very mm. well, let them understand the risk involved in bringing them so that they will be conscientized mm. and yeah. stay in a very peaceful manner. Mm. But if we cannot harmonize all the factors mm. and the students also live in fear, that alone is also not good. So, somebody says that, look, you have not banned flights from China and places that have been uh, recorded as having such cases of COVID-19. And yet, our own people who are asking to be brought home are being told that when the need arises, somebody says he finds that quite yeah, strange. Yeah, I, think, I, think, I think where, probably I don't really know exactly, mm. but I, I'm thinking that they think even on board, you can catch it. Right. Because you come with people from different places right. that will be on board. It's possible. So maybe mm. now that they are saying that, oh, none of our students has it, that's the report. Right. They think, okay, why can't we allow them to be quarantined mm. and make sure that the situation is mitigated? Okay. Then we can bring them freely. Okay. I hope you understand what I'm saying. I get it. Okay. And they should also talk to us more. You, me, and my brother, and the entire mm. Ghanaian community. There should be proper communication for us to understand the issues. Okay. And also support or otherwise. Okay, thank you. Sunday, take a bite on this. Uh, yeah. The health service, the professionals say um, it is not time yet to evacuate them. It will be unsafe because we do not have the capacity and all of that. Even though some private hospitals have been released to them to serve as uh, quarantine centers and all of that. What do you say? To, to what you are hearing now? Uh, Johnny, in my view, uh, I think the government's decision towards our brothers in China uh, just shows the increasing levels of the insensitivity of the current administration towards the plight of the ordinary Ghanaian. Really? Yes. How so? Um, Johnny, as you may know, that this is a, a, a crisis situation to find ourselves mm -hmm. as a, 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 a league of nations. Mm -hmm. so, our brothers in China are there with their colleagues. Okay. This outbreak has been with us for some time now. Mm -hmm. The World Health Organization has given authorization for countries that want to evacuate their citizens to evacuate them. Other countries are evacuating their citizens. Mm -hmm. Canada, Britain, US, uh, Singapore, a number of countries mm -hmm. have started evacuating their citizens. I read a statement from the Minister of Health and okay. he was suggesting that uh, with consultations from other regional organizations like the West African Health Organization right. and other regional bodies. Uh, the consultations have not recommended that they should evacuate our brothers and sisters from China. Mm. Uh, if there's a need for them to evacuate them, they will do the same. And the question some of us ask is, uh, are you waiting for a Ghanaian to die mm. before it will occasion you evacuating our brothers home? Uh, I have a distant cousin there. Okay. Uh, the brother called me and was like, you guys have to put pressure on the government to evacuate our brothers. My brother called me and just wailing on phone that. What, what can government do if the health professionals are saying, Mr. Government, this is not safe. And the government is not, they are all not health professionals. The health professionals are saying, hold on. I'm not too sure that the World Health Organization should recommend that countries that have the capacity to evacuate their citizens do not understand that evacuation is necessary. So if the government of the day says they do not have the expertise, mm. so they have personnel, if they are the telling capacity, them The capacity, not the expertise. Please. No, the capacity. Yes. So if you're talking about the capacity, the capacity to include the expertise. Because, yeah, look, the truth is that a Cameroonian lady has it. Mm. Other African countries run to our Noguchi here mm. to get, uh, what do you call it, their samples tested, mm. or they'll go to France, as we were told yesterday. Mm. It takes up to like two weeks. In our case, 24 hours we could get it, which is why the case at Kolebu mm -hmm. could be tested mm -hmm. and then they were cleared. So clearly, we have mm -hmm. a bit of capacity, but they are saying that mm -hmm. if you bring the people from Wuhan mm -hmm. 
and you bring them in here, mm -hmm. where to quarantine them may even be a problem. So plants are moving on to get it done. That cannot would you, be, would that, you take your time, that, that, government? That, that cannot be the case. As you said, Cameroon is coming to Nguichi for uh, samples to be right. tested. So it means we have uh, uh, facilities to do uh, embark on this uh, test. We've, we have, uh, 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 what is it, a center at Tema. Mm. So my position is that our brothers there, none of them have been infected yet. Mm. And the World Health Organization says, if you are evacuating your people, you need to quarantine them at least 14 days. Or 21, up to 21, 21 days. 21 days. Yeah. So you monitor them and check them before you leave right. them. So I'm saying that if our brothers there, none of them are infected, and they are calling, that come and evacuate us, come and evacuate us, come and evacuate Because they live there. They don't know mm -hmm. the, what is happening. Mm -hmm. And you are saying that there's no need for you to evacuate them. It can only be... So when the need arises. What, what, uh, what would that be the need? When a guy uh, will, will lose a life? Okay. So the government of the day, uh, Johnny, I think you've not been fair to me with the time, so please. Oh. So <laughs> what I'm saying is that the government of the day... I've not been fair to you. With regards to the time. Okay. Regards okay. To the time. Okay. So what I'm saying okay. is that the government of the day, okay. they've been using money for other important things to them. The Yay. president of the day pay 17000 for a, 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 a private jet to travel to other places, to travel to Madrid to watch a Champions League final, travel to South Africa for f a, a, a festivals. If our brothers, whom he saw an oath that he will do manner to all, he do justice to all manner of person, he will serve mm -hmm. the people of this country in respect of where you are. They are Ghanaians. They should look for resources. Whether to put up a center that will make sure that when they come home they are tested okay. and if nothing on to happen, they should do it. Because, as the parents are saying, mm -hmm. they will not forgive this government if anything happens to their awards in China. Okay. So the government of the day should do the needful. Okay. The minority has given them something to two hours. It will uh, elapse today. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they will be announcing to us the other options that are available. But okay. President Akufadu should be interested in our brothers and sisters in, in China. You think he's not interested? Country. Not at all. Because okay. if he's interested, right. he would have well, done well, the most well, important thing. Think, I think why he's made... Very wait, wait, our, our time is up. Oh, at Steve. least, at least. At least what? Um, <laughs> sometimes I'm surprised the NDC people could boldly say something that they themselves know when they are left with God, you have to apologize. And what, what are that those things? Our government chartered flight and that the government is not taking these things serious when it comes to health sector. Your government. This is not about it. Made, it so no, no, I'm now, coming. Our government. Our government. Stephen Amwa. Stephen Amwa is the boss at Maslock, and uh, also Sunday Casper. Uh, Casper. 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 China and not to do equalization our government did better than your government that's not what we need right now what we need is to bring our brothers and sisters home if we can if the coast is clear because we so need to so assure them and reassure them 